In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Land Driver for Asus motherboards. So just follow my steps. The first thing you have to do is figure out which motherboard you actually have, so the model. And the way you do this is by going down here to search and type in system information. There we go. And you want to click that to open it. And from here, you will see it will say baseboard product and then the product name. So this is the thing we need. This will be your motherboard model name. For me, I don't have an Asus motherboard, of course, but it doesn't really matter because the process is going to be the same, the one I'm going to show you right now. So write that down somewhere because we're going to need it later. And then after you've done this, you can feel free to close this down. Now, from here, we're going to need access to internet. And because you don't have a LAN driver in your computer, you have three different options of what you can do. You can either connect your mobile phone to your computer and share internet that way. You can use your mobile phone to download the driver on your mobile phone and then simply put it in a USB. And then from that USB, put it to your computer. Or the third way, which I think is the most efficient and the easiest, you can just use a different computer that does have uh, internet connection and and then you download that driver to that computer, you put that on a USB drive, and then you put that USB drive into your computer, and then install the driver from there, from that USB drive. So, assuming you have now access to internet, uh, what you're going to do is you want to go to Google, so you just want to simply open up your internet browser, and then you want to type in ASUS Download Center. And in here, you want to go to the first website, which says Download Center, Official Support, ASUS Global. And from here, you want to find your model name. So that's the one we earlier uh, found out. So you wrote it down. Hopefully, if you haven't, again, you can check it inside system information if you forgot it. And let's say your model is this one. So I just typed in a random uh, motherboard model over here. Uh, likely you won't have this one, or if you do, that's great. If you don't, just type in your name of your product. Then after you find it here on the list, you can just click on that product and you will see your motherboard over here on the right. From this, what you have to do is click driver and utility and it will open up a different website where you can then download your driver. Now, as you can see over here under driver and tools, you'll be able to select your OS. For me, it's gonna be Windows 11, 64 bit. For you, it may be different, just select yours. And then you can see your LAN driver over here at the first place. So that's the one we need. And you can see all about it when it was released, etc. You can then click download over here and this will download the LAN driver for you onto your computer. Now, of course, what you then have to do is you will just have to go under your downloads folder inside your computer over here where this has been downloaded. And what you can then do is simply right click on it and then click extract all over here and then extract. What this will do is it will extract your folder. This usually takes a few seconds up to a minute because simply it depends on how powerful your computer is and how many files there are in the folder. There we go, that's done. You can then delete this folder, which is the zipped one. You don't need that anymore. And you have your folder, which is the folder that contains the driver data. What you have to do from there is you have to copy this folder onto your USB drive. You're going to then input to your computer to which you want to install that driver. So you can just right click and then click on this copy button over here and then paste it onto your USB drive, which likely will be down here. If you click this PC, you will have it over here. You can just open up your uh, the USB drive and put it on there. What you then have to do is then open that USB. So put that USB into your computer. So the computer you want to install that on. And on that computer, you want to open up, uh, of course, that uh, USB. And you want to make a copy into one of your folders of this folder. So doesn't matter where, just copy it. You can do it in your desktop or anywhere on your computer. Once you've done this step, you then still have to install the driver. And the way you do this is by going down here to the search box and you want to type device manager. So look for device manager, device manager, and then you want to open this up. There we go. And in here, you want to go into one of the following things. So you will either have network adapters, which I do have, or it will say other devices or something like that. Just look for it and you will find it. And in there, you will see it will say something regarding LAN. Now, that's the one you, of course, want to find. As you can see over here, there's LAN for me. You want to open this up by double clicking it, go into driver, 
and then click update driver. From there, you'll get access to either uh, make your computer search for driver updates automatically, or you can simply look for it yourself, which is what you want to click. So just click browse your computer for files or something like that. And once you click on that, make sure you select this file. So the downloaded driver from your list. And once you do this inside device manager, you can simply press confirm and then apply and wait a few seconds for that to install and update. And after that, you can close everything down and your driver has been installed. Your, your LAN should now be working. If it's not, just restart your computer and it sure will work. So that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.